at my small garage machine shop. So uh, I know I've been kind of off the radar for a little while. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about what happened and, um, you know, kind of how I'm going to get things back on track here. So uh, my son has a Kia um, Optima 2.0 turbo, Theta 2 engine, um, had a lot of issues with them, bearing issues, um, oil issues, starvation. Um, they, they, they were kind of problematic. Um, ran like a Banshee um, until it didn't. So basically he blew the car up. He put a tune on it. Um, so I had to pull the motor out and, um, you know, for those of you who don't, who don't know, uh, the, this is what I do every day. I, I turn a wrench. Um, so to me, this stuff isn't interesting at all. Um, it's just more work. Uh, whereas the machine, you know, stuff I, I was doing previously, uh, was, is what I really love to do. So, uh, I guess I've been working on this, focused on this. Um, the, the garage is an absolute disaster. Um, so, you know, I didn't really have much time, you know, I'd, I'd put in my 10 hours at work, come home, put in three or four hours out in the garage. And, uh, you know, I did try to rec record some of the process, but, uh, unfortunately, um, it ended up being a lot more trouble than it was worth. Um, so I, I kind of scrapped the idea. Um, but anyway, let me tell you about what's going on around here. Um, so I got a five C collet set up, um, for the lathe and I am absolutely loving it. Um, not without a couple issues. Um, of course, I bought a cheap one off Amazon, and uh, it came with a backplate. Um, it was a one-inch eighth backplate. I tried to machine that, and the, the, the steel, whatever it's made out of, is just some terrible, terrible stuff. So I wasn't happy with it. Um, so I went and got a um, cast iron one, um, HHIP, uh, and I you know machined that, and I'm very, very happy with it. Now, um, the issue with this was that it was very, very tight. Um, the I actually broke the the uh, key that they give you. I broke it and I had to machine it down. Um, it, it was it was just really bad. Um, but since then, I have taken it apart uh, three or four times and gone through it, deburred it. Um, I had to, you know, take a little bit off the gear on the inside to loosen it up a little bit because it was so tight. You know, at certain spots it would bind up um, and I wasn't sure if it was the, the threads on the collet binding up or whether it was the actual uh, mechanism inside. So uh, anyway, uh, but but now that I got it working, I have to say that um, I previously had the ER32 set up in here, and uh, it is not even uh, close at all. Um, I'm I'm so much happier with the accuracy of this, um, and you know, I, I think it's definitely a great addition, um, you know, to have to the uh, to your to your machine. Um, anyway, uh, I, I guess the things I was interested in uh, hearing from you guys was that, you know, if maybe this engine thing was something that. I should have included. Um, I did do some um, milling operations on it. I did a couple thread repairs. Um, so this is stuff I could have included. Um, but I, like I say, it was it was kind of a hassle, and I wasn't sure if anyone would be into watching, you know, this stuff because um, that's not really what the channel was about. But if I'm wrong, please, you know, feel free to to mention it in the comments and uh, and tell me, hey, you know, I would I would have loved to see this or, you know. Um, Anyway, uh, and the other thing that happened was my milling machine broke. Um, if you look back at my videos, not that there's a whole bunch of them, but uh, there's one where I, I had the, the mill tilted um, to, I think, 50 degrees or so um, to cut the, or to repair the ways, uh, the V-ways on my tailstock here. And uh, when I went to rotate it back to 90 degrees again, it just made a loud pop and the head swung down and it was, it was a total disaster. Um, so I actually got to pulling the head off the machine. Um, I have some pictures of the repair, which, you know, again, if you guys want to see, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, do a video on some of it. Um, but the gear in there broke off. It's, it's kind of a poor design. Um, there's no support on the far side. It's a spur gear on there and, uh, there's no support on the one side. It just, it just snapped right off. Um, so I was able to actually weld that, uh, I put a piece of high speed steel inside and, and, you know, put it on the lathe, TIG welded it, turned it down. Um, and it, it's been working ever since. So hopefully uh, that stays working and I can do some videos on the mill. Cause that's, that's something I would really love to get into. Um, anyway, other than that, guys, I, I don't know that there's too much, uh, happening, uh, but I am going to get things back on track and, uh, you know, maybe I'd like to hear from you guys, uh, Hey, do a video on, on on the engine, do a video on something else, do a video on the mill. Um, you know, I, I guess I need some ideas. Um, 
to uh, kind of get things kick-started again. All right, so I appreciate you guys that hung in there sticking with me, uh, and I hope that there'll be a lot of stuff uh, to come here in the future. All right, so uh, stay well. Happy New Year to everybody, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.